Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about what you can do after a bad call or you chase a bad pitch. How do you reset yourself? How do you refocus so that you don't throw in that bat away because of one bad call or one bad swing, okay? I get this question a lot, and I see this happen so often. I see players throwing away at bats because they cannot put something negative behind them, and they, will, they allow one pitch or one call or one swing affect the entire at bat, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips today. The first thing is, the biggest thing, is when I step in the box and I'm getting ready to hit, my mind needs to be clear. I can't be angry at a call or upset at a pitch. I can't be thinking about what just happened, right? Or I can't be thinking about pitches that are coming, you know, two pitches down the line or three pitches down the line. I've gotta be completely focused on that incoming pitch, that very next pitch. That's the only thing that I can be worried about. And so if I'm in there and I cannot get rid of what just happened in the past and I'm still thinking about it as I'm getting ready for this present pitch, I will never ever be able to hit it. It's gonna be very, very difficult. So I have to make sure when I get in the box that if something negative just happened, I've let it go. I flush it down the toilet. It's gone, it's out of my head, and I'm focused on this pitch. Now, how do you do that? Well, a couple things. If you watch a major league game, you'll see guys go through this routine. And it's really important to have something to be able to reset and go to, because there's, in baseball, there's gonna be things that upset you. The umpire's gonna make a call that you say, what, what was that? That's terrible, right? Or you're gonna chase a breaking ball, oh, oh, and go, why did I just swing at that ball? Okay, these are the times where you've got to get out of the box and you've got to do something to reset. So what you'll see, some players, everyone's different and you can find what works for you. But some players you'll see step out and they'll undo their batting gloves, right? They'll undo both batting gloves, they'll put them back on. Now a lot of times people are like, why do they gotta, why do they gotta play with their batting gloves? Why do they gotta do that? Just get back in the box. Well, that's part of a lot of hitters' routines to be able to clear whatever happened, right? You only have a few seconds, maybe five seconds or so, to be able to clear it. And so just doing something physically, putting on or taking your, unstrapping your batting gloves, pulling them, putting them back on, is giving you time to be able to forget about what just happened. But physically doing it is bringing your mind away from that into something else, right? To actually doing something, putting the batting gloves off and then strapping them back on, okay? So that's one way that you can do it, one thing you can do. Another thing that players will do is they'll find something in the ballpark. I've, ta I've heard a bunch of players talk about this. Evan Longoria talked about this a lot. They'll find something in the ballpark that they can go to to take their mind off of what happened. So Longoria would talk about the, foul, the top of the foul pole. Every stadium has a foul pole. And so what you'll see him do when something happens is he'll step out, He'll look up at the foul pole, he'll take a deep breath, and that takes him away from whatever negative thing just happened and lets him refocus. And when he feels good, he gets back in the box, okay? So it can be the foul pole, it can be the scoreboard, it could be, it could be anything, anything in the park, okay? Some guys will use the label of their bat. So they'll get out, they'll take a breath, they'll kind of look at their bat, they'll find something on it, take another deep breath, and now they've refocused on something other than what just happened. And when they feel good, they get back in the box, okay? So that's really, really important. Breathing, I mentioned it a few times already, breathing is really, really important. So when something bad happens and you start getting worked up and your heart rate really starts pumping, right? The way to combat that is to slow down your breathing, to take a nice, slow breath. In through your nose, hold it for a split second, let it out through your mouth, and now get back in the box again and go, okay? It's one of the things that I used and a lot of players use in between every pitch. Whether it was a good pitch, a bad pitch, doesn't matter. Every time I get in, I would always get in, I'd find something on my bat, I would take a deep breath in through my nose, hold it for a second, let it out through my mouth, 
and then I would go. And that would really help me just relax and stay calm, right? Whether something good or bad again happened, but a lot of times when you're playing, especially at a higher level, right, there's a lot of people, they're screaming and yelling, there's a little bit more pressure on you, and so it's important to be able to kind of calm your nerves and slow everything down. Sometimes you just get too excited, right? And it's hard to play baseball sometimes when you're really, really amped up. And you've got to kind of slow your heart rate down a little bit and really relax. So those are all ways to make sure that every time you get back in the box, you've put anything in the past behind you and you're focused on that next pitch. That next pitch that's coming, that's the only thing that matters, okay? And when you're able to have a clear, uncluttered mind, that's when you'll be at your best. Okay? Most players struggle when they can't clear their mind, when they can't slow their heart rate down, they can't get over anything bad that just happened. And so they, here they are, and it's a bad pitch, strike one, and they get all upset, and they get so mad, and they just get right back in there, and now they chase the ball, strike two, what am I doing, why am I, ch and they just get right back in there, and in 15 seconds, the, the bat's over. And they go back to the dugout and they smash their helmet and they scream at somebody. <laughs> and they essentially just got themselves out because of one bad thing that happened. They couldn't clear it. They just let it steamroll. They let it snowball, right? Instead of putting an end to it, getting out, taking a breather, doing something physical, finding something to be able to take their mind off it, take a deep breath, get back in, and now go back to work. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Go check out all our, all our other videos. We've made a ton of them. I think you guys will enjoy. And that's all we got. Thanks again. We'll talk to you later.